Praise God. Praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Give them praise. Give them honor. Hallelujah. I'm going to go ahead and do a disclaimer. I'm still under the weather, so excuse me if I sneeze or cough or something. <coughs> I'm not trying to do that on purpose, so excuse me. Um, Hold on a minute, please. I'm trying to sip on Theraflu and tea here. Okay, so basically, uh, I'm going to get straight to the point. Praise God. Praise God. I haven't been on here in a, a minute. Um, Just been a lot of busyness and been kind of under the weather all this week. I say, Satan, you are a liar, but we're not going to give him glory. Praise God. But I have a, a interesting and a very... um powerful topic this morning the eyes are the window of the soul watch their spirit i'm just going to get straight hit it hard i don't have time to play games hallelujah we're going into a season where we don't have time to play come on somebody hallelujah you got to stand for god in this hour because the line is being drawn in the sand said the lord we will know who's who you can't fake it no more hallelujah and god said stop acting like you don't see what you see in people oh come on somebody hallelujah god says stop pretending that you don't see See what you see. I got to say that again for those in the back. Stop acting like you don't know they're evil. Stop acting like you don't see they don't like you. Stop acting like you don't know that they're lustful. Stop acting like you don't see it. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And you're causing your own self grief and sorrow. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So I want to read some things to you this morning. Some scriptures concerning how powerful the eyes is. Let me tell you how powerful the eyes is. The power, the eyes, the eyes are so powerful. Excuse me. Into Egyptian back in the day, that's why they would actually put on makeup because the eyes entice you. Oh, come on, somebody. The Bible says that they bat the eyes. That why do you think everybody like the lashes? I I never did like them ugly things, them long lashes, because guess what? It seduces men. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm not talking about just men. It seduces anybody. That's why they bat the eyes. That's why they like the long lashes because if they can get you the eyes the eyes are in full of enticement full of jealousy full of um envy and full of strife full of lust come on somebody so let me walk this thing out you have to be careful of their eyes you don't hear what i'm saying i remember one time this guy had demonic eyes and almost enticing eyes i refused to look in them y'all ain't ready for me come on somebody y'all better act like, act like you don't know every last one of you have looked at somebody and it felt like you were being seduced you could say what you want one time in your life or probably continuously because the enemy will always try to entice you keep living if not keep living all right so let me continue to do work this thing the popular phrase is related to the Bible verses, Matthew 6, to 24, that says, the eye is the lamp of the body. If your eyes are healthy, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eyes are unhealthy, your whole body will be full of darkness. We're talking about spirits here. Come on, somebody. If then the light within you is darkness, how can, how great is that darkness? No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God, both God and money. You can't serve them both. Your eyes, in the sense, represents the focus of your life and what you are seeking. If you are simply seeking money and pleasure rather than the love and truth of God, you will ultimately find despair. The exact phrase, eyes are the windows to the soul, comes from Shakespeare, who often found inspiration from the Bible and biblical themes for his plays. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So I'm going to read you some Bible verses because I want you to know how important the eyes are. That's The eyes are the gates. That's why you have to be careful what you listen to, what you see, what you watch. Please, people, in this hour, guard your gates and you can't let anybody or anything slip through it. So let me read some scriptures for you. 1 Samuel 16, 7. But the Lord said to Samuel, do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at things like people look. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. 2 Kings 6, 17. And Elijah prayed, open his eyes, Lord, so that he may see. Then the Lord opened the servant's eyes, and he looked and saw the hills full of horses and chairs of fire all around him. This is when the army of the Lord had went against a Pharaoh's army, believe it or not, with Jezebel's army. I'm sorry, excuse me. Acts 9 and 18 says, Immediately something like scales fell from his Saul's eyes, and he could see again. He got up and was baptized. Mark 8, 25 says, Once more Jesus put his hands on the man's eyes. Then his eyes were opened, his sight was restored, and he saw everything clearly. 
Matthew 5, 28. But I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. And that can go for a, a vice versa for a woman as well. Matthew 5, 29. If your right eye causes you to stumble, gorge it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. That's a powerful scripture. I don't know if y'all realized that. Proverbs 20, 12, ears that hear and eyes that see the Lord had made them both. Come on, somebody. Proverbs 21, 4, hardy eyes and a proud heart, the unplowed field of the wicked sin. I'm going to read that one again. It's very powerful. Haughty eyes and a proud heart, the unplowed field of the wicked produce sin. Psalm 38, 10, my heart pounds, my strength fails me, even the light has gone from my eyes. Psalm 101, 3, I will not look with approval on anything that is vile. Oh, you better listen to what I'm saying. I'm going to read that one again. Psalm 101, 3, I will not look upon with approval of anything that is vile. You see, if we start acting and actually working the scriptures, we wouldn't let anything enter in. I hate what faithless people do. I will have no part in it. Okay, come on, somebody. You got to stand for something or fall for anything. Psalm 119, 18 says, Open my eyes that I may see wonderful things in your law. Job 31, 1 says, I made a covenant with my eyes not to look lustfully at a young woman. I'm going to read that one again for you, for you that don't read your Bible. Th job, Job 31, 1. I made a covenant with my eyes not to look lustfully at a young woman. And that could be vice versa. Job 31, 7. If my steps have turned from the path, if my heart has been led by my eyes or if my hands have been defiled. 1 Corinthians 10, 12, and 13. So if you think you are standing firm, be careful that you do not fall. No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Matthew 6, 22 to 24. The eye is the lamp of the body. If your eyes are healthy. I read that one already. Okay, so that's all. Oh, I'm sorry. One more. Luke eleven thirty three. No one lights a lamp and put it in a place where it could be hidden or under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand so that those who come in may see the light. Your eye is the lamp of your body. When your eyes are healthy, it says the same thing. Um, your whole body is full of light. So see then that you walk in light and you will not be in the darkness. And Ephesians 1 through 16. I have stopped giving thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers. I keep asking that the God, our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom, listen to this, and revelation, so that you may know him better. I pray that your eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that the hope, that you know the hope which is called to the riches of his glorious inheritance in his holy people. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise God. So let me go ahead and just break this thing down. Stop playing with demons. Stop listening to demons. Stop fellowshipping with demons. Stop sleeping with demons. Stop listening to demons. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying and you wonder why. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. I'm so serious. I know why the enemy has been attacking me all this week. All week with my health. I mean, you you wouldn't believe. But guess what? I'm not glorifying him. I know why he's upset. Because this coming year, I am preparing myself right now to go deeper, to go higher. If y'all thought I was crazy, you have no idea how I'm finna act. You have no idea. You don't hear what I'm saying. I'm not playing. I already give God everything, but I'm going to give him some more. I'm going to be in his presence more. I'm going to pray more. You don't understand what I'm saying. Hallelujah. I'm going to isolate myself even more so. Y'all aren't ready for me. I already isolate myself, but I'm not playing. And guess what? I'm going to shut down some things too. Now this one, listen, because maybe you can learn something. First of all, I don't play no disrespect. I respect everybody. D don't try to disrespect nobody. That's not God. That's not God. Because when you honor God, you honor God's people. Secondly, I see y'all. I see you snakes and I see you people and, and I'm coming here. Oh, I I'm telling you I'm on one. I see you trying to get close to me. Let me tell y'all something what the enemy do. The enemy tried to get close to you to destroy you. Well, guess what? Good luck. Or may I say, God going to get you. Stop playing with me. 
I'm a woman of God and I'm not to be played with, period. I'm not acting like I'm all that. I'm not arrogant, but I know God. Y'all better listen to me what I'm saying. I don't play with God. I never have. Even when I was unsafe, I knew not to play with God. Some of y'all have lost your mind playing with God the way you do. You see when that stuff happened to you in your life? And it will. Remember these words. You don't play with God. Stop playing with people of God and stop playing with God in this hour. And if you don't believe me, keep living. As a matter of fact, write it down in your little memo. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's something I was always taught. Play with people, but don't play with God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all play too much. Y'all play too much. But guess what? That's the remnant fault. It's time for us to stand and cut it at the dough. Cut it at the dough. Stop accepting stuff that's not of God. Stop compromising. Stop being friends when you know people are not saved. I'm going here. I'm going here. In this coming season, if you know you got sin in your life, I will love you from a distance, but I will not be fellowshipping with you, period. I don't care if you're family and friend, period. You're getting cut off. Because I'm not getting tainted by none of you. Oh, you can say what you want to say. This is the hour we in. We need pure and holiness in this hour. I will always love people because trust me, you cannot be a woman of God or a man of God and don't have love. But the Bible says have no fellowship with darkness. Nobody playing. Y'all play too much. Y'all want to go play on the enemy side and then come on God's side. Y'all playing and straying. Hallelujah. And I can show you scripture. You can find it out yourself. God says, have no fellowship with the works of darkness, but yet reprove them and rebuke them and correct them. Hallelujah. We have to be pure in this hour. The enemy is coming and he's strong. He's strong, you guys. But God says, I'm stronger, but touch not the unclean thing and I will receive you. You cannot allow yourself to be tainted in this hour, people of God. And let me tell you something, because y'all might not understand this, especially when you have love in your heart. Well, I don't, excuse me, I hear it a lot. I don't understand why. Let me tell you why. When people don't have God in their heart, they don't care about you if you're a child of God. If they're not listening to God, who are you? Let me simplify this thing for you. Some of you are trying to figure out why people don't like you, why people attack you, why people do what they do, because they are demon possessed. Demons are real. Demons are ruling them. Because you either getting ruled by God or demons. Point blank in the story. Stop playing this game. And we all know who is possessed. Because you'll feel it in your spirit and you'll see it in their actions. I see you. Y'all sitting up there pretending to be a man of God, a woman of God. I see you. Yeah, I'm saying it. I'm saying it. And if it hits you in your spirit, I'm talking to you. They got about four of y'all on here. Playing with God. And I'm, and I'm talking to all four of you that I know. Playing, stop playing with God. Yeah, I'm calling you out. Stop playing with God. You think I don't see you? Stop playing with God. If you're going to do what you do, then do it and repent. Stop playing with God. Before something happened to you, and then you're going to be looking crazy. Ain't nobody playing no more. Because the blood ain't going to be on my hand, and I'm not going to play with you. Get out of that sin. But you can't get out of it because you like it. You enjoy it. You can't beat the demons that you enjoy playing with. And leaders, stop co-signing that stuff. Well, you know, I don't want to say nothing because I don't want them to leave my church. or I don't want them. You don't have to like me. I could care less. I'm worried about your soul. Because one thing will, will not happen on judgment day when God, and we will be judged. The first thing, did you do my will? God ain't going to want to know, well, mama, sister, brother, cousin, this one. God wants to know, did you do my will? It ain't about who you like or who don't like you. Y'all stop playing with people. This is about souls. It's not about houses, cars, who like who, status, money. Y'all tripping. That's worldly stuff. All that stuff is going to go, period, in the story. It's about souls. It's about ministering the kingdom of God on earth. But the church then came in and with that prosperity message and got everybody tripping. Everybody's thinking, well, I got, I got to be blessed. I, I got to have money. I got, okay, guess what? What this going to do if you go into hell? And hell is real. Oh, come on, somebody. The enemy making y'all think hell, hell is real. 
And I said it the other day, I'm going to say it again. You are a spirit. That's why they say that you will be tormented forever in hell. Spirits don't die. Yeah, your flesh die, but your spirit will never die. So now I want to ask you something. You want to be tormented forever? Because that's what's going to happen if you go to hell. Point blank in the story. And the world don't like that. Oh, they don't like that because they just like Sodom and Gomorrah. We want to drink. We want to have fun. We want to have sex. We want to kill. We want to murder. Until God say, enough is enough. Hallelujah. Because he's still God all by himself. He has the authority of God. He talk like God. He walk like God. He is God. Hallelujah. Who can reverse? Who can reverse it when God do it? Who can touch it when God do it? Who can stop it when God do it? No one said the Lord. No one said the Lord. No one said the Lord. And y'all playing with God. How can you play with God? That's how you know you're demonic. Because a real child of God know to adhere to God. Because they know too. Let me tell you something. They know the power of God. Even demons tremble, some of them, but some of them are bold. Remember who Satan is and remember he got his whole crew. They all got kicked out of heaven. So now they're on earth wreaking havoc. That's, that's what we see. We see fallen angels wreaking havoc, even in the church. As a matter of fact, some of them running churches. Okay, let me tell you, most of them running churches. Why y'all think it's like this? Hallelujah, this stuff is real. People are playing with demons, sleeping with demons, co-signing demons. And yet you want to say, Lord, Lord. That's why he says, everybody that said, Lord, Lord, it's not of his. Test the spirit by the spirit, said the Lord. Hallelujah. I have been, let me tell you something. I love everybody. Because like I said, you cannot be a child of God without loving your heart. But as of now, I'm not letting nobody slide. Because uh, uh, we've gotten to the point where we we, we kind of, we, we baby sin. Like, oh, well, well they going to be, a... no, 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 no. They keep doing what they doing. And guess what? They go to the altar every week. Or, they, or better yet, they'll ask you for prayer and still go do the same thing. Wearing you out when they still want to touch the unclean thing. No, pray for yourself. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you to stop playing with God. That's what I'm going to pray for. Stop playing. It's time to stop playing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's all God told me to say. So I pray that y'all understand we're in them times. But I'm going to tell you why people are falling. Money. That's the main thing. They would do anything for a strange change instead of trust God. I'm going here. Before, because some of you are seeing, y'all call it a winning season. I just call it God blessing. And, and, and look, that's just what it is. But I remember before this season, and I told y'all about the five, six years that I just was going around. There were times I didn't have nothing to eat. I didn't get on here and tell y'all all that. I prayed and I asked God. I said, there were times I remember I was in a place. I was in California and I hadn't had anything to eat. And it had been a couple of days. And I remember crying on, the, on my sofa. And I said, God, I ain't calling nobody. I said, I ain't calling my daughter. I ain't calling nobody. I said, you're going to have to do it. I'm tired. I depended on God. You know, somebody knocked on that door. With some groceries and $40. I'll never forget that day. That's when I knew. This was like a long time ago. But that's when I knew. I said, God, you really you really take care of your people. He said, Deanna, if they ask me first, he said, but what happens is they get in the panicky mode. They get in a scared mode. They get in a fear mode. And they start doing whatever they got to do within the realms of wrong and right. i never forget. And yeah, I'm going to call this person out. Last year, um, something had happened to somebody's car. And i never forget. And um, she's supposed to be a woman of God. She said, well, somebody husband finna buy me another car. I just looked at her. I couldn't believe she said that in front of my face, knowing who I was. But she didn't care. Yeah, I'm saying it like I'm saying. I ain't playing with none of y'all no more. You can get mad, delete, whatever. I really don't care. It's about your soul. I couldn't believe it. I said, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Did I just hear her say somebody husband finna buy her another car? Y'all stop playing. Trust God. If he's God, then trust God. And if you don't have it, then trust God. If you lose it, trust God. That's how I feel about everything. Just God, just because I got blessed, what if it go to, to I'm going to trust God. I ain't going to start tricking and doing stuff. Come on. Yeah, I'm saying it like I'm saying it because that's what y'all do. Some of y'all will sleep with somebody to pay y'all bills knowing that's not God. Well, call me what you want, but you won't call me broke. No, we're going to call you in sin. And then if something happening in your sin, we're going to go to your funeral. Y'all think is this a game? The devil not playing with us. He's trying to steal, kill, and destroy us. He's not playing. And, and, and whatever, whatever he, he dingle that carrot, 
Because he knows. And let me tell you when he come. He come when you're in need. Oh, hallelujah. I got trapped that time. I sometimes too, y'all. He comes when you're in need. He'll send somebody with some money, some honey, and some funny. Now y'all going to play with me this morning? He will send what you need wrapped up in a devil's package. Y'all think it's a game? You better say no and, ask, and wait on God. That's, that's what time it is. Stop doing strange things for some change. Because God going to get you. Every decision that you make, there's a consequence. Whether it's right or wrong, good or bad. And if you don't believe that, keep living. I didn't did it all. I know what I'm talking about. I have learned to respect the power of God. And my perfect, none of us are. But you're supposed to, you know, if you make a mistake, I didn't do that right. I apologize. Some of you are so proud, you don't even know how to say I'm sorry to somebody. Knowing you're wrong. You got to be humble. You got to be humble. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. Praise God. Praise God. Give him glory. Well, that's all I got to say. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let me get up off here. I'm still under the weather, but hopefully I'll be better. I know I will. It's just the enemy. He he got mad at that blessing. He got mad, y'all. He came at me. Ooh. Ooh, I wasn't ready for that one. But God is with me. Hallelujah to his name. I give him glory. I give him glory. All right, I love you all through Christ Jesus. Be strong in this hour. Stop being weak. Stop crying. Get up. Fight. That's what we do. Fight. When you was in the world, you was fighting. How come y'all come to the body of Christ and, oh, it hurts. Or, oh, I can't take it. We took all kind of stuff when we wasn't unsaved. Now we can't take nothing. The devil is a lie. I say the devil is a lie. Hallelujah. All right, God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll like soldiers, for that is who you are. God bless.